All right, guys, we're back. Yeah, I was out in the garage doing a little bit of a workout, but I kind of ran out of time. A little bit of breakfast, a little Mickey Mouse Clubhouse will buy me like, I don't know, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes. I just want to do one more quick little routine for my arms. Just because we said we were doing legs and abs and arms and full body stuff. Uh, so my kids are satisfied for the moment. And I'm going to do a quick and easy down and dirty arm workout. So we're going to do a push and pull alternating between pushing exercises and pulling exercises. We're going to do back, chest, buys, and tries. So first up, going to strap on the old katsu, put the armbands on, and we're just going to do the cycle. I don't really want to do the training mode because I might do something later today. This is just... A nice little finisher to the morning routine that I did. Alrighty here, so we've got turn on the cycle, plug it in, turn it on, wait for it to pop. There we go. So we're gonna do a pro low. Alright guys, first up, clip this under my belt. We're going to do let's adjust the camera a little bit so you guys can see me better. There we go. Okay. So we're going to do long sitting rows. So i got my rubber band here, anchor around my feet. And all I'm going to do, pull back and squeeze. Back and squeeze. So make sure that the rubber band's even, sitting up tall, stomach tight, tuck your chin, pull back and squeeze. The main thing here is you're trying to pull your chest apart, okay? So you don't want to pull down like that, rolling those shoulders forward. You want to pull up, pull wide. So nice and smooth. When I feel that cycle release, we're going to switch exercises. Pull, squeeze. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. When your head's pulling forward like that, try to tuck your chin, pull everything back. Pull and squeeze. Pull and squeeze. Pull and squeeze. Pull and squeeze. Don't be afraid to round the shoulders out a little bit. Ah, good. Well, that was already cycle two. As I say, I think I already missed one. All right, we'll show you how to compensate for that. So actually, we're on cycle three already. Okay, gotta hurry this up. Now we're gonna do a girly push-up. So push-up position, let your hips drop forward like that. Keep your stomach tight, keep your heels up, and just nice and smooth, start repping out push-ups. If you wanna do a full push-up position, that's fine. You'll find that it gets real hard real quick. So I'm just going to stay in this knees position. Rep these out. Keep my hands fairly close. Keep my elbows kind of tucked. More like a uh, yoga push-up. Okay. Bands are released. Yep. Here they go. Okay. We're ramping up cycle four. I'm going to do one more set of these rows. Because uh, this felt good on my back, my neck. <sighs> Deep breath, pull. So you may have to adjust depending on what kind of rubber band you use. Get a little bit closer. Okay. I like this one because it's heavy enough to where I can do things like this, but also it's long enough to where I can hit my biceps, my triceps, and my shoulders. It's not too heavy. It's very versatile. Back and squeeze. <sighs> Back and squeeze. Back and squeeze. Is that already it? In cycle four. Going on cycle five. Okay. Moving right along. All right. So, again, this time, just a little bit closer. We're going to do a diamond with a little bit more tricep. Again, that knees push up position and just push. Okay. Keep your elbows tucked in there. If these getting in the way, just clip them to the side like so. Like that, back, nice, smooth, pushing. Now you don't really want to lock out completely. You want to keep a little bend, keep those muscles engaged through the whole time. Nether burn. Okay. Good thing about the katsu too is it keeps you moving. We're gonna cycle six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're gonna go do some standing pull-ups now. Take that rubber band, go loop it around your feet, 
like so. Go thumbs up and just pull. So pulling in, pulling the thumbs up and out, up and out. I'm just standing on the rubber band, just pulling. Make sure that your shoulders don't come forward. You want to keep them nice and tight. Pull, pull, pull. Okay, that's the end of cycle six. So you gotta keep it moving. Go to triceps. Let me give you guys a little more view here so you can see my feet. Okay, so now triceps. I'm doing this in my socks because it's in my house. Keep my feet nice and clean. Okay, this helps since I have a looped band. If I put the loop behind me like that. Now, tricep. Oh, that's hard. Three. Gotta loosen up a little bit. Four, five, six. Wiggle it around. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. See, that was a little awkward. So I'll go back to the close grip. So now we're already going on cycle round number eight. So here's a little hack I'll show you. Since I missed a cycle, I missed a, a round, and I, I kind of want to get to that, what I'm going to do is we're going to pop these off just like that. So the cycle's still going. Number eight, like so. See, it's still moving like that. But we disconnected the tubes, and so they're inflated. And while that's the case, I'm gonna burn these arms out. Okay, let's do this. Y'all ready? All right, try to hit 20 bicep curls. Now, originally, I was just gonna do a cycle, but I'm here. Time happens so fast. <sighs> so find a nice, happy, neutral position and start curling. Three, four, five. And you can change the angle to do an overhand pull, thumbs up pull, palm, uh, palms up pull. So you can supinate, neutral, pronate, anything and everything. Change angle pull on the str biceps. Oh, oh, they're getting tired. They're getting tired. They're getting tired. Okay. Oh, shake them out a little bit. Again, now we're in the, that training mode, so they're inflated, so I don't want to leave this on for too long. 15 minutes is max, but if you can leave 15 minutes on here at this much pressure, you're in phenomenal, phenomenal condition. I'm gonna go back to close grip, press for my triceps. Sometimes the rubber band doing kickbacks is great, but when it's a loop, it's hard because it gets kind of wobbled up in your hips. So if you just had one straight band where you could do one arm at a time, that'd be great. But you gotta be able to adapt the exercise to what you have around you. So we're doing close grip push-ups. So again, I'm gonna keep those Elbows kind of tucked in, like I'm pushing someone off me. Pushing someone off, just like that. Keeping my hips straight, keep my stomach tight, and all you're doing, close grip, press. Close grip, press. Oh, knees are burning. Knees are burning. Oh. Oh. One more set of curls. One more set of curls. Just to burn it out. Ten more. All right. So this time, because this is that loop I was talking about with the kickbacks, you want to go where it's like that, where it's just one straight line. But this is too heavy to do that doubled up. So sometimes you got to be creative as long as you don't hurt yourself. Now this time, this last set, kind of catch my breath here. It's only been a few minutes. As I come up and curl out, I want tension here in the middle too, so I'm getting that tension, pulling the band apart while I'm curling up. So basically you're gonna burn up your biceps without causing structural damage. Best part. 
All right, this is cellular fatigue. So grab it on here, last set. I'm gonna call myself out here and I'm gonna try to get to 15. Whew. Okay, so like that, curl up and out. Let me slide together a little bit. We won't count that one. My nose is itching. All right, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're burning. Eight, nine, ten. I already lost the pull apart. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, on workouts. Never so hard. Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna push that little plunge right there. Squeeze my bicep a little bit. Take the air out. And do it. Drop it. Ah. Arms are burning. Ah. Ah. So much better. Ah. 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 So. Ah. There's my breath. When the bands are on, it's tough. So listen to your body. Don't leave them on too long. Don't hurt yourself. Remember, consistency is key. You're not gonna go full blast as hard as you can with these bands on your arms, your legs, katsu. It's not about that. It's not about heavy. It's about improving the blood flow to the muscles that are working while you're constantly getting contractions throughout the entire vascular system. So, pretty awesome. If you're stuck inside, if you don't have a lot of means to get to a gym, katsu is the way to go. You guys got any questions? Find me, reach me out, I'll be happy to help. Dr. Corey, out.